New reality dawns for Zimbabwe. Many are hoping the economy and investment will now begin to tick up. Data out from Bloomberg and the World Bank shows that Zimbabwe's economy has halved in size since 2000. And the liquidity crunch has given rise to what is termed plastic money in Zimbabwe. According to EcoCash, a subsidiary of telecommunications company Econet, more and more Zimbabweans are now getting used to paying for goods and services via alternative methods. Zimbabwe's liquidity crunch is severe. In what was once Africa's bread basket, Zimbabwe is today the region's basket case with real per capita income down 15% since 1980. Even if one has 10,000 US dollars in the bank, they are only permitted to draw $20 in a day. This has pushed some merchants, such as Econet, to come up with ways to accelerate the use of plastic money. Currently, over 6 million customers use plastic money, which has also helped 70% of the population to be financially included. In the absence of cash, customers no longer have to be stranded at banks in a way to access money. Instead, they can move their funds directly from their bank to their wallet in order to perform all manner of financial daily transactions. Notwithstanding these gains, EcoCash has saved the country at a time of a severe liquidity crisis. We now have 80% of the volumes of all financial services transactions being processed on EcoCash. According to the International Monetary Fund, hyperinflation peaked at about 500 billion percent at the end of 2008. This led to the nation abandoning its own currency in favor of a basket of foreign exchange, including the South African rand, the US dollar, as well as the bond notes printed by the Zimbabwean government. But the bond notes are not going down well with traders who prefer to use the South African rand. South African rand, I'm, I'm quite sure that's the best because most of things, some other things, they're coming from South Africa. Mm -hmm. We are buying them from South Africa, uh, we make the result here. So I'm quite sure a South African rand can pay us, make us live better. And when you sell your, your, your wares in the bond note and you want to now go out there and uh, get, get the US dollar, get the rent, the rates are so ridiculous. You, 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 you do not want to hear. It's about 135 US dollars, 135 bond notes per 100 US dollars. The country's share of regional gross domestic product has dropped to less than 1% from 1.5% 37 years ago. This is when Mugabe came to power. It improved slightly during a unity government agreed to following disputed elections in 2008 and it remains to be seen what impact the resignation of President Mugabe who served for over three decades brings for the country's struggling economy. Diabo Sito, SABC News, Johannesburg.